Okay, so I'm at the gas station right now. <clears throat> I got my wipers going. But I picked up my coconut water. Okay, stop. Thanks. Picked up my coconut water and... Stop it. Why? What's going on? Okay. Are we done? Are we done? No, we're not done. Are we done? We're done. I think we're done. Anyway, so I just got myself some coconut water like I always do. I don't know if these give me energy or not for real. Um, if it's a placebo sort of thing, then whatever. It still works. I got myself some gum. Um, I only like getting gum that comes like this. I like cracking into it. Not that anybody cares, but we're doing a quick um, Q&A before I head to work just because my vlogs are getting a little boring and you guys asked me some questions. I have them here on a napkin because I'm using my phone obviously to film. So let's get into the questions. Okay, so the first question we have is how long have you and your boyfriend been together? And that's a bit of a loaded question because we wasted each other's time for several years. Um, we were best friends before we started dating. We're not best friends anymore. We're not even friends anymore. Like, that's my partner. Um, we have a household. We're raising children. And we're planning our life together. Anyways, so we started casually dating slash sleeping around, doing the whole romantic thing on and off because there was a lot of on and off about five plus years ago, if not maybe more and then between one of our back and forths I got pregnant about three years ago and we've been together ever since the next question is where did you meet your boyfriend I met my boyfriend in high school he was my friend's boyfriend it sounds a lot messier than it really is her and I just kind of grew apart after high school we went several years without talking she got married and became very religious and then him and I reconnected and were friends for many years before we started like a romance together um, so yeah okay so question number three is how long have you been dancing I started dancing when I was 18 I am gonna be 31 in August so on and off for 13 years it hasn't been consistent though because of pregnancy, you know, raising the kids. Also, I got in relationships with people that didn't like what I did and I was really stupid and I quit because of that. Um, those were not good relationships. Um, but yeah, so overall 13 years. Right. Question number four is what made you want to become a dancer? I knew I wanted to be a stripper since I was a kid. I was probably like 12 or 13 years old, if not younger. I was not an attractive child. I was overweight-ish. I had like a round face and I had not good teeth. I so I wasn't really an attractive kid and in the 90s I feel like, and even today, the industry was really glamorized. There was Playboy, the show The Girls Next Door, Pamela Anderson. So any woman that could manipulate men through her sexual allure, it was just kind of a goal that I had. I was like, I want to be able to manipulate people just because I'm hot. So that was like the first reason why I wanted to become a dancer and then when I turned 18 I had a group of guys that took me to a club and at the time I was a hostess at a restaurant making eight dollars an hour and I, um long story short I saw how much money the girls were making at the club that night and and the first thing I thought to myself was I can do this like I can definitely do what these girls are doing I want to make that money so just sign me up so yeah Question number five is, what's your favorite travel destination? So to be completely honest, I really haven't left the country aside from like the Bahamas and Jamaica. So aside from the Caribbeans, I really haven't been anywhere, but I'm gonna have to pick my motherland, Puerto Rico. Um, again, I really haven't been to many places, but it is so beautiful and I can't wait to go back. So Puerto Rico for sure. And number six is, what is your favorite coffee flavor? I'm gonna have to be really basic and say pumpkin spice. I just, I love pumpkin spice. I don't know. It's good, right? Pumpkin spice. If not pumpkin spice, then vanilla. But pumpkin spice. The last question is, how do you manage motherhood and work? I think being a mother and working any job is exhausting. I, um... I feel a little 
conflicted with how I feel about it. Um, but how do I manage it? Basically, I just... I don't know. I really don't know how I do it. Um, cause I'm really tired <laughs> to be honest, but at the same time I like going to work because I feel like myself again. And it's not that being a mother doesn't feel like myself, but sometimes I just get so caught up in house chores and baths and dinner and cooking and laundry and just catering to literally everybody that I'm like, you know, damn, like I just want to put my high heels on in my laundry so I can feel like a woman again. Um, at least like a woman that's something other than a mother but I don't know how else to answer that I just I do my best <laughs> but those are all the questions that I have and now we are gonna go ahead to the stripper store because I want a new outfit Maybe <laughs> Almost a guarantee that Money. you're gonna make money. Yeah, the deal. I'm gonna get headphones, so I'm gonna go to work out today. I'm gonna call to get my consultation, set an appointment. I can't handle this anymore. I had a dream that I got my, my, my body done, and my tits were so perky. These are good, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get her up. I'm gonna get her up? Mm-hmm. This is like the latest she's ever slept. I know. She came in twice last night.